So one thing I've been thinking about doing for quite a while is changing my arrow setup. I've used the same arrow setup for years. Been shooting gold tips for a long time. 27 inch arrow. They're about 422 grains. I've got a wrap on here, obviously some fletching, and I shoot a lighted knock. And I've uh, been thinking about it for a while, but just recently going to elk shape camp that Dan Staten put on. There's a lot of talk about heaviness of arrows and front of center. So as I said, these arrows I've been using, I haven't calculated front of center, but uh, they have been, I shoot a 100 grain head. These are at 422 grains. I'm hoping to get up over 500. And now I'm uh, gonna start shooting some element arrows, the Typhoons, and they are 10.3 grains per inch. So I'm gonna show you how I'm getting all those set up and check on the weight the new setup, and we'll go shoot them outside after we get them dialed in. So I've got a pretty decent little setup. It's certainly not an archery pro shop. I don't have a press to work on a bow, but everything to build my own arrows um, is pretty much right here. And like I said, I've got the Element Archery Typhoons. I always get them bare shaft because I like to fletch my own. So I've got the bare shaft here cut to length. Got some rubbing alcohol, some Q-tips to clean inside the shaft before you glue the insert. A couple of different glues, the Max Bond by AEE for the fletchings, and I've got some Easton um, Quick Bond insert adhesive for the inserts. Really like the AAE veins. Use the, the uh, low profile Max. Their prep is phenomenal. You use this uh, primer pen and then you glue it. I have not had anything come off worry about adhesion even without a wrap. Um, so, you know, customize with different colors. Um, got my Bits and Burger jig. I've got my scale. I've got my knocks. I've got the inserts. And they do come with knocks, but I like the uh, lighted knocks. I use the Knockout by Clean Shot. Um, I just think they're the simplest ones. So these are the contenders and they fit right in the .204 shaft. So I've got everything here to, to uh, do it so we're going to get an arrow set up and, and I'll show you the process and how we go about it. So we'll start with the uh, bare shaft. I like to uh, put the insert in first and as such I use a q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and uh, clean the inside out. Let it make sure it dries. This stuff dries really fast. That just makes sure that you're getting a good adhesion on the inside of the shaft. So once I'm sure that's dry, I'll put some of this Easton glue and put it at the end of the insert, just all the way around. Reason being, as it enters the shaft, it's gonna make a layer all the way up, just twist it so you're getting the entire insert. And this is quick drying stuff. Once you get it there, let it stop. Clean up real quick. And it says it sets in seven to 10 seconds, so it's pretty quick. And then in order to fletch your own, on the Bitsen Burger anyway, you need to have a knock-in because I've got it set for three, three veins and each notch will let it go the appropriate number of degrees so it's set equally. So just put in this knockout, then I'm ready to start fletching. You can either use the AAE Arrow Wipes. They obviously do a great job. They're designed for that. I've got the whole adhesion kit here. You also can just go ahead and use rubbing alcohol. Just wipe it down and it dries incredibly fast. And start just by setting the knock in the Bitsen Burger. Ready to go. I like to make them all the same, so I'm gonna do two whites, and I'm not sure if this is an orange or a red, but the cock feather is gonna be that color. So then you get your jig. So it's got all these markings here, so you just need to stay consistent. I put the back of my fletching right at the very end of the jig. Okay, is crucial. Just get a little flowing, push down on the felt, 
and you can see just a thin, thin layer. And again, that dries pretty quick, but it just really gives it a great priming start. And then the AAE Max Bond. For a thin, thin bead, you don't want too much to have it squirting out. get any oozing, just always make sure you got a paper towel or something handy. Go down the edge. And this stuff dries pretty quick. I don't remember what it says or if it says, but you're not going to want to go out and shoot these right away anyway. But as long as you get a good adhesion there, once it's done, you take the jig off. Like I said, I've got this preset, rotate it to the next stop, falls into place and you just get the next vein ready to go. The fact that you can adjust the knock, you don't have to start with the cock feather or put them on in any certain order. So again, just prime, thin bead, and then I run the glue bottle just so there's no excess. The butt of the jig right against, so it's consistent. Let it go, you can see the pressure. And once you feel that one's fairly well set, rotate around and it should be for the third and final vein. And it's the exact same process. Okay, and there you go. Pretty well spaced out. Good helical. Nothing excessive. I don't remember the degrees, but it's just your standard right hand helical. And uh, ready to go. So now we'll put a field point on, so we'll put that in the insert, and we'll weigh these. Obviously these still have to dry quite a bit, but you can see you can knock one arrow out in pretty quick order. Five hundred and eleven point eight. So I've gained over almost ninety grains in my total arrow setup, and with that 100 grain insert, significant front of center change over my setup from last year. So I've got a few of these built. I am pretty excited for the new arrow setup for this year. I'm gonna use it all year. They're spinning really, really true. Obviously, you wanna do the same thing with the broadhead once it's in place, but uh, I'm gonna build a couple more so I have a full half dozen, start practicing, get the sight dialed in for these uh, heavier arrows, see what we can do with them. So I'm gonna shoot a couple with the old arrows, they should be right on the right on the bullseye. And I'm gonna shoot a few of the new arrows, which in theory are just gonna be lower because they're heavier. I'll have some adjustments to make to the side eventually, but just wanna see how they're flying and get a feel for them. So here goes the old ones. We're just gonna shoot at 20 yards, hopefully not lose anything in the snow. So I'm really excited about how these element arrows are flying. Significantly heavier, more FOC. All I need to do is shoot at different distances, put a new sight tape on to accommodate for them. But you can see how I build my own arrows, like to customize them, kind of all the steps that it takes to do that. And uh, now we just need to put them to use in the field.